Ableton user opens FL Studio for the first time. All right, so I have it in front of me and I want to figure out how to make a beat inside of it. Um, so to start things off, I've watched a few videos on FL Studio, uh, people producing inside of it, but I don't, and, and I've uh, sat next to a collaborator and watched him use it. But I have always been a little bit sort of confused or intimidated by this software. It's a bit, works quite differently to Ableton. So here we can change the BPM. So I'll make it 140. Um, and I've got this here that says kick. Okay, so it's got a sample loaded in. So I can, I presume this is a, just a step sequencer. If I press spacebar. Okay, well, that's already pretty easy. Um, so kick, snare, how do I, un yeah, right click, okay, right click, so left click will let me put a kick there, right click, okay, cool, right click, okay, so, Okay, how do I make that pattern bigger? Like so, how do I activate more? Okay, oh, I'm getting the hang of this already, guys. Um, either that, or that means this is intuitive. Would I want to admit that? Whew. Okay, um, but there, so that's here. How how do I actually? How do I actually? So, okay, let's try and do, so I've got a kick snare, okay, so what's this? Okay, so it's mixing, it's the mixer, uh, and I've got something like wired here, so that channel is wiring to the master or something like this, um, okay, um, well how, what, what do I do to get this onto an arrangement view? Oh, okay. Um, what's that? Go away. How do I come over here and play from here? Oh, what that? What that do? Okay, so that's that's not what I want to do. I want to snare. Can I put the snare in there? Man, this is that's the kick. Okay. Um. All right, I'm gonna need to, oh, I need to check whether audio is playing here. Yeah, okay, you can hear me, that's good. How do I make this full screen? Um, what does that do? Okay, so F11 opens up the settings window. Okay, cool. Um. So yeah, I'm using this as a trial. I haven't bought it yet. Um, and I can't say whether I will. Oh, okay, right. So pattern or song. Okay, okay. Oh, right. So both of them are showing up on here. So we're... Okay, um, and the the... Light gray is the kick. And the um the dark gray on here is the snare. Okay. But okay, so what if I go to how do I activate track two? And and what's going on here? So snares on that channel. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. Four. Four on here, yeah. Um okay, so I could make a new um, a new Hama. Okay, cool. So I could make a, I've never used Hama, but we could maybe make. Okay, so that's quite loud. How do we turn down the Hama? 
Okay, so that needs to go to a channel. Okay, so, okay, I can feed that into channel five. Insert five. So the... But why is that note sustaining? Why is it not? So if I did... Okay, that's interesting. What if I pulled that down? Uh, I'm just gonna use presets because I've got no idea how how to use this. Oh. That's some goa trance. Okay. Okay, so the, how do I how do I name this? Can I name it? Right click, rename, Goa lead. Cool. All right, we've got a Goa lead going for our dubstep beat. That's fantastic. We're already getting creative and mixing ideas. Let's get a let's get a Styrus. That's uh, citrus. Sorry, citrus. I always it's always saying um, Styrus. Don't know why I was ignoring the T uh, uh, and pronouncing it as though the s is a c is weird okay so then let's move how do i how do i how do i okay Okay, well, we're getting something happening. That's the main thing, right? Um, so, uh, I'm extremely confused about this track thing, though. Like, how, how, so this is all going into there, but then there's a mixer for that that's all separate? I don't know. Is that how it's working? Well, let's play it. So Yeah, so that's the note for that citrus patch. Okay, that's weird. Okay, well, how do I, how do I reopen? Okay, just clicking on it. Shit, that's straightforward. Um, yeah, three hundred three ish is what I would call that. But let's change it to say three hundred three ish. Yep. Good idea, Fel. That was a great name for it. Okay, it needs some pads. Uh, what are we gonna use? Let's use Harmer again. Cool. Um, let's go seven. How do I? Okay, that's you click it. Amazing. Um, pad melt. Pad noise. Pad. I like pad melt sound. Where'd that go? Pad. Pad melt. Let's, uh, how do I play it with my, can I play it with my keyboard like you can in Ableton? Typing keyboard, typing keyboard to, yeah. Okay, but how do I then tell it that it's the, um, the keys that I'm pressing, I want to trigger this. How do I, how do I do that? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Um, enable note or clip groups. Step editing mode. Okay, so so um, I wonder whether it knows where all my plugins are. It's all fruity stuff. Plugin presets. That would be so sweet. That's something that's so cool about Bitwig. It just automatically knows where all of your um, VSTs are. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I want to get some pads going. And then once the pads are going. Okay. I want to, I want to, I want to spread it. How do I spread it? I want to put effects on it. Mixer. 
slot one. Um, there's a reverb. Okay, cool. So, controller, delay, distortion, dynamics, filter, flanger. Let's, we could put a chorus on it maybe to spread it. Okay, open that. I hope, is that on the master? But that's, is that on the master? So if I select that, okay, no, it is on that channel, sweet. And that's the dry wet, okay, cool. Uh, and I just click it to open it, that's really intuitive. I still don't understand this shit though, like, the stuff, the stuff, I don't understand the stuff. Uh, wet only. Yes. Okay, we need some hats. Let's be honest. How do we make a groove? How do we apply a groove to it? Um, I don't know. You can filter it inside of there. Polyphony, echo, delay. Wow, okay, so you can just like add that stuff to it from in here. It's interesting. Um, groove. Hat. Hmm. Whoa. 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 Okay. I want to apply to a, groo a groove to it, but that could be maybe... Oh. Main swing. Oh. That's how it's done. Okay. Oh, shit. That's controlling the master of it. Okay. How many, how many, how long was it? Yeah, cool. These hats just. Yeah, cool. What, what I want to do is like, how can I, if I, if I, how do I do that? How do I? How <laughs> I want to duplicate it across so that it's playing like the same thing across both bars, not just one bar. But I don't know how to do it, and I don't want to waste too much of your time in this video. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe I should be pretty happy with that. Maybe that's a good a first. Maybe that's a good first attempt at opening up FL Studio. What does all of this do? How do I actually start sequence like arranging it over here? I don't know. How do I save it? File. Save. Can I save in the trial? This PC. Desktop. FL Studio. FL Studio. Resources. Cool. Let's call it. First. Jam in FL Studio. FL for life. Oh, oh. <laughs> that ends this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, maybe I'm going to play around with FL Studio a little bit more. See you in another video.